Hey everyone, today I'm gonna give you a bit of insight into Delta Force Mobile. So I'm gonna start with saying that yesterday I've been playing a bit of Arena Breakout, like 10 games, Lockdown TV Station, Lockdown Northridge, and I extracted one single time. You know the story, it's the usual stuff. I had a bag full of stuff on TV Station, got killed by an extraction camper on Northridge. I got that unreal insta face shot from a timmy and it's getting exhausting or frustrating and i opened approximately 20 25 saves yesterday or even more and i didn't find a single red item not even yellows so i said okay i'm gonna continue learning and experiencing um delta force mobile and I don't have enough experience to give you like very detailed loadout guides and stuff like that. But that's not the purpose of the video. I just want to give you like the taste of it, okay? So first striking difference is that uh, actually I don't want to make it like a conversion video. So I'm just going to focus on Delta Force. In Delta Force, it's pretty easy to dress up. I like the way it's being designed. The feature, I mean... It's easier to pick a weapon and an armor and equipment and meds and all kind of stuff. It's just somehow faster. So, and I like that because if you don't have like too much time to play, then that's absolutely something you're gonna love. So in Delta Force, the movement is done in a way where it feels like that you are on the move. There's always something happening because it's pretty, pretty fast, which I actually, like and also the looting system the way you loot the drawers and boxes and cages and safes and all kind of stuff it's pretty fast i don't need to spend too much time like opening them and searching them i like the fact that we have loot basically everywhere we have common items we have green items blue purple yellow and red items and this is not about having to search too much to find items it's more about selecting the the items that have the best value because your bag is always going to be small and not not big enough to put in like everything which i like because the game is giving you tons of options it's not that you search a whole area and you don't find anything despite of having tons of loot i can already see timmy is running with knives trying to rush the saves and then picking up stuff securing stuff but i, I think it's pretty much okay because that's like one way of playing the, the game or these type of games i want to talk a bit about the gunfights because people are going to say that it's more arcade-ish at least if you're coming from games like arena breakout you're going to say that ah, it's closer to call of duty maybe but i think that's that's not actually right to say because in the early game we all run with trash loadouts and by that I mean T3 or T2 even. We face Timmies, people who are trying the game just now and we are running with baby ammunition, like the worst ammunition in the game. I think your opinion about arcade is going to quickly change if you start facing people who are actually dressed up in T4, T5 with juicy guns and decent ammunition and ammunition in the game is pretty expensive so i didn't even try running with a1s for example a modded m4 costs approximately 150,000 or 200,000 and then the ammunition is going to cost an additional 200,000 but the prices are i think pretty much balanced so an average raid on the first map, which we can consider as a starting map, I can easily extract with 500,000 if I focus and I don't die. Speaking of maps, we have three at the moment. Maybe there are more, but I have three unlocked. The first one is pretty small with like two like areas where you can find, or three maybe, where you can find saves, but there's like one like building which everybody's trying to rush and you have a boss there the second one is bigger much bigger with five six or seven locations two bosses multiple saves uh, across the whole map 
and uh, I, I think that's like one of the most ideal maps at the moment because the third map is also very small and it's full with buildings. It's like a small chunk of a city or something. It actually depends on your play style because if you like the maps where you have the buildings and doors and windows and, and those um, you know, nice spots, then the third map is going to be something you like. And if you like, you know, sniping and open areas and running around, then it's like the second map might be more ideal. I personally like that we have heroes, hero types with abilities. All of them have three abilities. I didn't try all of them, but the ones I tried are all useful. And uh, it's actually adding an extra layer of excitement or you can, you can go tactical and you can leverage those to make the game more fit your playstyle, if that makes sense. You can be more defensive, you can be more supportive, or you can be more aggressive by picking an assassin type of uh, character. For example, I've been playing with the um, woman who is having the, the arrow. And you can scout the area, like to identify if anybody is around. But then I switch to the other girl who is more like an assassin with the knives. And you can you can actually blind the enemy, which is like, I think, absolutely freaking awesome. So try all of them once you get a chance. And then I'm sure you're going to find a hero which is like close to you or close to your playstyle. I'm still such a noob in the game. I'm the same noob as I am in Arena Breakout. But anyways... You're gonna see in total 19 kills, 19 real player kills. I think some of them might be like AI players, but most of them are real players. But this is just like the tip of the iceberg, okay? The, the game is gonna be different, but in this early stage, it gives you a nice taste on what to expect from Delta Force. There are two reasons why I didn't talk about this in a very hyped way. The first, I don't want to sell anything to you. It's different compared to the game we've been used to over the last one and a half years, but the concept of it is pretty much the same. So you need to enter a map, you need to search for stuff, you need to extract and while you're doing that, kill enemies, kill enemy squads and pick up their stuff. The second reason is that I have this freaking allergy and I couldn't sleep well, so I didn't sleep too much. And my nose is stuck, but I really wanted to record this video and publish it for you guys. And actually there's a third one. So whenever creators record videos or most of them, they start increasing their voice, putting emphasis on certain words, articulate and all kind of stuff to make it more entertaining. But this time I wanted to make it more natural. And of course, guys, let me know if you want to see more Delta Force because I'm actually considering to picking up this game next to Arena Breakout. It doesn't mean that I would stop Arena Breakout, but I just have, want to have two to have a bit of variety. And uh, I want to understand if this is something you want to see or you don't want to see. There's no good or bad answer. Just let me know, okay? Shoot, loot, subscribe. See you in the next one. Enjoy. Bye.